Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at the new way of doing uh, start activity for result. So I just built a very quick activity and very simple. Basically, it's two activities, uh, the first activity and the first activity starts the second activity for result. So basically, you could see here I have a button that I am clicking on. When you click on it, it creates an intent that goes to the second activity, but it starts the activity for result. And the old way of doing things is that on activity results, and uh, you check to see if the result code, uh, if the request code matches the request code you made, and if the result is okay, and then it's going to return back a string. That string I'm going to display here. So basically, if you look at the app, it's very straightforward. You go into the second activity, you type, so for example, Bob Smith, and then you click on send. It goes back to the second activity, to the first activity, and displays this, the text. Okay? Straightforward. It's a good example. And the old way of doing things is that uh the on activity result is one method that uh, you override and basically that method will receive all the results that come in from any activity that you started for result for that specific activity the interesting thing here is that uh a lot of you are uh, indicating that this method has been deprecated and that is mainly because um if you go to your gradle settings you see that there is a newer version of the app compact. So basically, if I go in here and I change it to 1.3, it's 1.2 now. If I do it 1.3 and I sync, now what is going to happen is that if you go back here, it's going to tell you that it is deprecated. So start activity for result has been deprecated. Okay, cool. So that is deprecated for the Android X. So if you look here, uh, the activity that we are using is the app compat activity from the Android X uh, library. Okay, so anyhow, so in order to do this a little bit differently, which is actually it's a little bit different. Right now, the uh, the underlying uh, uh, plumbing and implementation of the new method actually uses start activity for results, but uh, for the app compat activity, this method has been re removed or deprecated. Okay, so now how do we do that? Basically, it's very similar, but instead of having one uh, method that is going to handle the result, um, I'm going to keep that method just for you to, to see what is going to happen. Um, Android, uh, this library, the Compact library, they introduced a new method, okay, which is called, which is a method that uh, uh, enables you to create a contract. And that contract has a callback. That callback receives the result inside the callback. So basically, it's very similar, but... Let's see how to do this. Now, what we need to do is we need to create the callback, right? So basically that callback is an instance of um, activity result uh, launcher. And that activity result launcher is gonna receive back an intent, very similar to here. You see, you are receiving back an intent. And I'm gonna call it, for example, start uh, for result, okay? And basically you do it by saying register for result. You see here, there are a couple of them register for uh, register for activity result okay and then here i'm going to use the start activity for result uh, contract so basically it's called new start start activity for result and okay let me just double click here so you could see the window so basically that's that is the kind of contract which is the kind of result that's going to come back and then comma now here you put your uh, you are going to create an instance of um okay so one we created an instance of this and then we need an instance of the callback so basically you go here you say new activity for result callback and boom this is what we're getting so basically what is happening is that we create we register this handler which is the callback and you tell the callback what is the result going to look like and in our case we want to come back as a result from an act another activity and basically there is a callback the callback is what gets called and it has an activity result inside it now how do i transform this code now we don't need a result request code so how do i fire up the uh, this activity it's not start activity for result anymore you start it like this you say uh, start for result which is uh, this launcher and you say launch and you pass it the intent that you want to to create and basically that becomes how you start activity for result now this is going to start it for result using the intent that you created here right it's going to start it for result when the result comes back the result is going to come back here all right so basically when the result comes back you could check to see if the result if the result is not equal to null right you can do that yes and let's say result 
dot get get the result code right the re result code which is what is happening here the result code right so basically result code is equal to result okay right and then i could get the data so basically to get the data is if the result dot get get data here is get data is not equal to null right and then similarly see here i'm doing data not equal to null or data dot get string is not equal to null copy that stuff from here put it here but instead of just data i'm going to do it like this result dot data right and the result dot data is not equal to null and then basically i'm just going to go ahead and set the text to whatever the text field to whatever i have here and we go from here and then i just remove this method i don't need it anymore because now the, the result is going to come back here so basically what you're doing is the new approach uses um creates a result launcher right and that's how you create the result launcher by registering this result launcher indicating what kind of contract you are going to use which is a contract that returns back with start activity for result, right and then basically you get uh, the activity callback and you indicate that it's going to be an activity result and boom you get your result back here and basically it's very similar basically once you get the result you can get the data from the result and you can check the re result code very similar to start activity for uh, on activity result right so now when we run this if you look at it what's going to happen is it's very similar so i ran it and when you go to the second activity and you say say for example bob smith and you click on send you see here it's being sent back now it's being sent back to the um the launcher right so through the launcher the launcher has a callback the callback gets on activity result and then inside it you have your code you we don't need a request code anymore we just need a result code which is okay or uh, and or, or canceled or uh, see it's okay or see canceled or first user so basically we are more concerned with the okay status now if you look at the second activity second activity is very straightforward there's nothing much in the second activity you click on the button we create an intent we package the name inside or whatever text was there inside the text field edit text we put it inside the intent and then we send it as a result and we finish this activity so basically if you look here the the activity re receives the result and then from that result you are able to detect is it okay not okay and you can get the data which is the intent that was embedded in the previous for activity so that's how we will do this um, that's if you updated your um, implementation to use app compat 1.3.1 it will deprecate the uh, use of uh, on activity result so you just in if you would like to do uh, a functionality similar to on activity result you need to do it this way please let me know if you have any questions thank you